I am right. happy. So you are happy. All right, let me check who are here. So we have here Kim, Peace. Oh, I only have here number one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I do not know your name. August, Hill, Kung Kwan 23, First, Floyta, Anpan, Ram, Ibon, Teta, Friend. Uh, Kenji, I have Kenji, Kung Kwan 25, Munik, Nichada, Nan, Soda, Kupa, Satang, Titan, Yanin, and I think this is Martin in um, number 11, and of course Sabai. Thank you, thank you so much, and welcome to the classroom. Okay, lower down your hands. All right, so before we start, now I would like again to make it clear that when we are already having the discussion, you should turn off your microphones. You just turn it on when you are answering. Okay, so that you will not disturb the others. And please, just raise your hand if you would like to answer. You have there the reactions. Do not talk yet if I am not calling you, okay? Below, you have there the reactions. So in the reactions, you have a clap, you have thumbs up, you have the laugh, you have the heart, you have the celebrate, and of course you have the raise hand. If you would like to answer, just click the raise hand. Is that understood? And if I will not see you here, even if I will not see your picture, I will still see you here in the participants as you raise your hand. Okay, you just click, click the raise hand. Okay, let's try it first. Click the raise hand, everybody. Click the raise hand. Look at teacher fair. I click the raise hand. If you would like to answer, you have to click that. Everybody, click. Let's see if you know how to click. Okay, I already have Sabai, Peace, Nichada, Ploidja, Pupa, Sabai. Okay. Um, Chita. Who else are raising their hands? Because I will be, Satang is raising also. Because once you raise your hand, it will be seen here in the participant's name. So I will know who is raising their hands. Okay, now I will see, okay. Now, I am the one talking, but I will still see who are the students who are raising their hands. I can see here Sabai, Peace, Nichada, Ploidja. Um, there are two Sabai, 15. Chita, Satang, Heo, Pupa, Nink, and Baibun. They are the ones who are raising their hands. All right? So that is what you are going to do from now on. You just raise your hand, and I will see it from the participant's name. Do not answer if I will not call you, because that's making the noise. OK? So for today, we are going to have a review of all that we have taken for this week. So for this week, we have been talking all about animals, okay? So we have been talking all about animals and I will share this to you. So the first part that we are going to review is the places and animals. So we have discussed this already before. We have here different places and animals. So that means where are these animals living? Okay. Where are these animals living? And what kind of animals are living there? So on your book on page 23, this is your science textbook. On page 23, you have there the chart, okay? You have the chart, the same as what I have in the screen. You have there the chart, 
you have their places and animals. So go now to your book on page 23. This is just a review of what we have already. Now, the first place there is garden. Okay, you have their garden. Now, what animals can you see in the garden? Anyone? Can you give me an animal that you can see in a garden? Any animal? Cheetah. Okay. Cheetah, please. Mm -hmm. Okay. What okay. animal can you see in the garden? Ant. Ant. Okay. Yes. You can put ant. You can write down. You can write down ant down here on this level. Okay. Ploija. What animal can you see in the garden aside from ant? Ploija? Butterfly. Okay. So you can write down two butterfly there. Okay, next. I can see peas. Grasshopper. Okay, grasshopper. You can write it down too. Thank you. So those are some ex examples of animals that you can see in the garden. But there are lots of animals that you can see in the garden. Okay, now let's move on to the next. The next place there is pond. Pond. What animals can you see in the pond? Okay, peas. Frog. Very good. Frog, yes. You can write down frog there as one of the animals that you can see in the pond. Any other example? Ploija. Fish. What is it? Fish. Fish. What is it, Ploija? Fish. Okay. Ploija say fish. Fish, okay. All right, fish. All right, so you already have two, frog and fish. Are there any other example of animals that live in the pond? Any other example? Frog, fish, what else lives in the pond? Crocodile. Okay, yes, there could be a crocodile too in the pond. Very good. All right, next. The next place there is in the field. Field. It's an, when you say field, it is an open space. Now, who can give me an example of an animal that lives in a field? Anyone? Who can give an example of an animal who lives in the field? Yeah, Lendia, yes. teacher. Yes, what is it again, Titan? One more time, Titan. Rendia. Rendir. Okay. Yes. Rendia. Yes, thank you. Rendir. Yes. You can see the reindeer or the deer at the field. Frog. Okay, frog can also be at the field. All right. Rat. 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 Okay. Rat. Yes. Yeah. That you write, you should write it down, please. You should write it down too in your book. You have to write it down too here. Okay, what else? What we have the zebra, giraffe, hell, yes, what is it? Hell? Dog. Okay. Dog, they can they can live in the field, they can stay there. Prompt. Prompt. Any example of an animal that lives in the field? Cat. Okay, cat. Yes, cat can live in the field. And we have also the wild animals. They live in the field, like the lion, the tiger, giraffe, the snakes. They live in the field. Okay, elephant. They live there. Kangaroo, goat, 
rabbit. Those are some examples of animals that live in the field. Now, let's move on to the last part. The last box there says big tree. Now, what animals live in the big tree? Okay, peace. Monkey. Okay, yes, very good. We have the monkey from? Bird. Bird, okay, yes, bird. Snake. Again, uh, from? Snake. Yes, there are snakes too in trees. Yes, that's why it's so dangerous. Now, everything clear for animals that live on different places. So animals, there are different animals that live in the garden, pond, field, and big tree. Now, let's move on to the next where it, we have talked about the parts of the animals. So we have different parts of the animals and I know that you have done this already. So the different parts of the animals, we have the tail, the beak, the legs, the wings, fins, horns, and gills. Now, can you give me an example of an animal that has a tail? Animal that has a tail. Who can give me an example of an animal that has a tail? Uh, Satang is raising his hand. Any animal that has a tail. Can you give me an example, please? Monique, Monique. Give me an example of an animal that has a tail. Cow. Yes, very good. Cow, thank you. Hill, any animal that has got a tail? Hill. Okay, Ploija. Monkey, very good. Ploija. How about Lion. the... Uh, again, Ploija. Hmm? Say lion. 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 Okay, lion. And we have here peace. Okay. And, me, me. Okay, cheetah, cheetah. What animal has a tail? Rabbit. Rabbit. Okay. Now, those are just some. Now, who can give me an example of an animal that has a beak? Nink, are you raising your hand? Okay, Nink, what is it? What example? Can you give an example of an animal that has beak? Aside from the bird. One more example, one more example. August? Parrot. August. Parrot. Parrot. Okay, very good. Now, let's move on to the next. This one. This has lots, lots of examples. Now, who can give me an animal that has legs? Animals that has legs. Tiger and cat. Okay, tiger and cat. Next, Nink. I can see Nink. Okay, any animal that has legs. Nink. Nink, Nink. Dog. Dog. And Dog and bird. Okay. Ploija. Ploija. Hen. Okay. And he, okay. Pufa. Pufa. I can see Pufa. Animal that has legs. Elephant and kangaroo. Okay. Very good. Thank you. Sabai. I can see Sabai. Giraffe. Giraffe. Very good. Thank you. August. I can see August. Okay, August. What animal has legs? Pig. Huh? Pig. Pig. Okay, very good. Next. All right. That will be enough. Now, listen. Animals that has wings. Wings. It means they can fly. Okay, I will just call the students who are raising their hands. I will call first. Okay, Pufa. Bird. 
Bird. Okay. Peace. Peace. Bird. Bird. Okay. Prompt. Bye. 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 Butterfly. Okay. August. August. Me. Bird. Bird. Okay. Cheetah. Mosquito. Mosquito. Okay. Yes. Uh, Nichada. Nichada. Nichada is raising her hand. Nichada, example of an animal that has wings. Snake. Again. Snake. <laughs> wings. It has wings. What animal has wings? Anything, Nichada? Bird. Okay, bird. Bird has already been said. Oh, okay. Cam. Cam. Animal that has wings. August. Animal that has wings. One more, one more. B. B. Okay, very good. Now let's move on to animals with fins. What are some examples of animals with fins? Fish. Fish. Okay, what else? Whale. Shark. Shark. Whale. Yes, very good. What else? Dolphin. Dolphin. Sabai. Sabai. Monique. Dolphin. Okay, dolphin. Monique. Anything else? Me. Okay. Yes, cheetah. Turtle. Okay, turtle, turtle can swim, but turtle doesn't have fins. It doesn't have fins. Dolphin. Dolphin. All right, next. Animals that have horns. What are animals that has got horns? <coughs> Cow. 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 Donkey. Donkey. Goat. Goat. Buffalo. 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 Okay. Next. Last one. Last one. Animals that has gills. Animals that has gills. When you say gills, they breathe through here. The gills. So what are some animals that has gills? Fish. Fish. Okay. I will try to share. Okay. Can you see this? Can you see what's on my screen? Yes. Okay. Sorry. Yes. Wait a minute. Yes. Okay, this one. So here you are going to answer this this is on page 34 of your book okay are we ready again if you would like to answer just raise your hand okay number one you are going to choose the answer on the words that are found in the pink box the words there you have deserts many Pincers, cats, blind, six, elephants, birds, change, wings, forests, claws, swim, flies, walk, seeds. Okay, let's take number one. Number one. There are black animals around us. There are black animals around us. Raise your hand if you would like to answer. Okay, peace. Many. Many. Okay, very good. Thank you. Number two. Number two, listen. Two. Some common animals around us are dogs, 
blank and blank from cat cats and bird okay bird okay next number three number three some animals live on farms blank blank and blank so where do the animals live i would like to ask from from is raising his hand Number three from some animals live on farms. From okay, from okay, some animals live on farms. Where else? Deserts. Where else? Forest and peace. Very good. Okay. Thank you so much. Okay. Number four. Number four. Number four. The habitat of blank is in the forest. Who would like to answer? Just raise your hand. The habitat of blank is in the forest. What animal lives? Elephant. In raise your hand, Floyda. Floyda. Elephant. Okay. The habitat of elephants. Okay, very good, thank you. All right, number five. Number five. Okay, let's have number five. If the habitats of the animals blank, the animals might die. What's the answer? Survive. Number five. Die. Change. Very good. Thank you so much. Next, number six. Birds have blank to fly and blank to grip things. Okay. Ufa, please. Number six. Ufa. Wings and Okay, wings and claws. You say that wings and claws. Pufa say claw. Okay, wings and claws. Thank you so much, Pufa. Very good. Thank you. All right, next. Next, next. We have. Okay, you see. All right, next we have number seven. The blank of a crab helps to, to gather food and protect itself. What do you call that part of the body of the crab that they use? Okay, let me see. Peace. Pinterest. Very good piece. Thank you so much. It's the pincer. Okay, very good. Next, number eight. Fish have pins to blank in the water. Okay, I have here Floyda. Okay, Floyda. Okay, swim. Pins have feet. Fish have fish to swim in the water. Thank you. Very good. All right. Next. Next number we have. Number nine. A butterfly blank and a kangaroo hops. Who would like to answer? 
I have Pufa. Pufa is raising his hand. A butterfly flies. Okay? A butterfly flies and a kangaroo hops. Okay. Okay. Number eight. Number uh, number nine. A butterfly flies and a kangaroo hops. Right? Okay. Now, let's try. Next. Number ten. A flamingo can fly and what can a flamingo do? We have hill. Okay, hill. Where is hill? Okay, hill, hill. Okay, let's see. Wait a minute. Yeah. Okay. Okay, hill. A flamingo can fly and what can a flamingo yeah. do? Huh? Walk. Okay, very good. Next, number 11. Monkeys blank and swing from tree to tree. Okay, Kung Kwan 23. Kung Kwan 23. Okay, Kung Kwan 23. Yeah. Oh, wait a minute. Wait. Yeah, I love the record. All right, Kung Pan 23, what's the answer? Kung Pan, a monkey's blank and swing from tree to tree. What does the monkey do? What do the monkeys do? They, what do they do to the trees? Okay, very good. Monkeys climb and swing from tree to tree. Last one, number 12. Ants crawl with their blank legs. Okay, Pufa. Pufa. Six. Okay, six. Thank you so much. Thank you. All right. So you have there and scroll with their six legs. Okay, thank you. All right. So now you have already completed what you have on page 34. Okay. Now. You have there on page 35, page 35, this is your mind map, okay? I will, I will try to share. I have it here. Okay, wait a minute. I will share the picture. Wait a minute. What if it do? Okay. I want to go to the above end. Okay. Okay. You see this one? Yes. Okay. Now, on your book, you have there the mind map. So, this is what we know all about the different animals that we have studied. So these are the mind maps. So we have here animals. So what do we know about animals? So what do we know about their body parts? So we have learned that animals have eyes. Some animals have eyes, some animals have fur, some animals have ear, wing, tail, mouth, scale, leg, and feather. So these are some of the different body parts of animals. And we have learned that some animals live in the sea, desert, farm, forest, and in the trees. Okay, and 
we have also learned the different movements of the animals. We have learned that animals can jump, walk, swim, run, climb, fly, crawl, slither, and swim. These are some of the movements of the animals that we have studied for this week. Okay, now may I ask, do you have any question about the lesson that we have for this week? We, for this week, we have learned all about animals. Now, for next meeting, that is for next week, we will be talking all about ourselves. Okay. okay. So for next meeting, please do advanced reading on the parts of our body. That will be our topic for next meeting, parts of the body. Okay. Do you have any question? Okay, so for your homework, you are going to do on page 36. Okay, page 36 of your book. You are going to do this during Saturday and Sunday. Page 36. Okay, what you are going to do is you will need these materials. You will need a glue, sticky tape, scissors, colored paper, clay, toothpicks, or recycled materials. You are going to draw your own animal, okay? Or maybe it's not really draw, but you are going to make. You are going to make and draw your own animal, okay? And then you are going to show it to your uh, friends. So you can make your animal from different colored papers. Okay, you can cut it out. So any animal that you would like. And then where are you going to put it? Which habitat should it live? Should it stay in the water? Should it stay in the forest? Should it stay in the desert or should stay in a farm or at the sea? So you have to draw your own animal. Okay? You have to do it on page 36 of your book. Page 36. So it says here, my lovely animal. So animals have different parts. Each of these parts has its own functions as what we have already studied. So in order to survive, animals must be able to coordinate those different parts and adapt to their environment. So for example, all animals have mouth and teeth that are adapted to eating certain types of food. Now here in this activity, you are required to create your own animal and an environment in which it could live. You should be able to explain how your animal adapts to the environment, okay? So make your own animal, draw it and paste it here, okay? And then show it to your classmates, where should it live? Where should your animal be? In the water, in the farm, in the desert, in the forest, where should it live? Okay? If you find it difficult here, you can just draw it on a white paper in an AC. Okay? If you find it difficult, you can draw it in an AC and then show it. Page 36. Page 36, you are going to draw your own animal. And then where are you going to let it live? Where should it live? Okay, do you have any questions? Kung Kwan, do you have a question? 
not understand. Okay, so you are going here. It says here that you need to make your own animal. Okay, this is your own animal. Create your own animal. So you can cut, okay, you can cut any animal. So think of an animal that you would like to have. Or you can draw it and cut it and paste it on a paper, on an AC. Then where would you like it to live? You are going to explain it to the class where it should live. Should it live in the water, in the sea? Should it live in the forest? Should it live in the desert? Or should it live um, on the farm? So where should your animal live? Okay, you are going to make your own animal. Okay, you can paste your animal. If you find it difficult here, you can paste your animal in an AC, in a white paper. Let me see. Wait a minute. All right, so for example, for example, this is your paper. You can cut out, you can cut out colored paper and make your own your own animal. Paste your animal here. So what is that animal that you have made? Where would you like it to live? Okay, and then you are going to tell the class where it should live. Should it live on the farm, in the desert, in the water, in the sea? Where should it be? Okay. Do you understand? Ah. All right. So are there any more questions? Any other question? No more? So if there are no more questions. Yes. Just one, only one. Just one, only one animal, only one animal. It is your animal. It is your animal, okay? Only one. Okay. Any other questions? Yes, thank you. Okay, no more. So if there are no more questions, I guess that would be Yes? Please ask. Okay. How to do the page 37. 37. Do not do that because you are going to draw in here. You are just going to draw, but this is just the format. You are going to draw it in a paper, in an AC. Do not do it in the book. Do not do it in the book. You have to draw your animal or you have to cut out. You have to cut out animals or colored papers and form it into animals and form it into an animal that you like and then present it to the class. And you have to tell us where you would like it to live or where should it live? Should it live in the water? Should it live in on the forest? Should it live on the sea? Should it live in the farm? You have to explain to the class. Okay. We are just going to draw this. But if, for example, let's say, for example, at home, you have a clay, clay dough. If you have clay, nah? if you have clay dough, okay, you can also make your animals out of clay, okay? Now, if you do not like to draw, listen, if you do not like to draw, and then you have a clay dough at home, you have clay, you can use your clay to make an animal and then present it to the class. You can make as many as you can. 
that, but be sure to present it to the class. So for example, if you have lots of clay at home, clay dough. If you do not like to draw, if you do not like to draw, you would like to play with the clay dough, that would be great. Then make different animals out of clay dough. Do you have a clay dough at home? Kids, do you have a clay dough at home? Who has a clay at home? Who has a clay dough at home? Raise your hand. If you do not have, never mind, it's okay. Who has a clay dough at home? Okay, we have one. What is clay dough? Okay, clay, it's a clay. It's a toy that you make. You form it into animals if you like. This one, I have, this one is in cup. This is a clay dough. You can play with this and you can make different types of animals. Okay? If you only have, but if you don't have it, you can draw. If you would like to play, if you would like to play with the clay dough, this is much better. This is much better. Okay? If you have clay, you can play and make your own animal. If you can make more than one animal, that is great. Okay? If you can make more than one animal out of your clay dough, that is great. Then you have to tell us, maybe you can make animals that live in the forest. Okay, all the animals that you have are living in the forest. If you would like to make animals made of clay, animals that live in the farm, okay, animals that live in the farm. One or two, okay. Me, Tisha. How? How All right. and she can. Okay, can, can. All right, so we're running out of time again. All right, so are there any more questions? Any more questions? Now, if there are no more questions, I guess that would be all for now. Thank you so much and see you again next time. Have a good day, everyone. Bye-bye.